Hi, this is Lee, and I'm here today to talk to you about superfoods. But what is a superfood? And I'm going to give you the five top reasons you should be including them in your diet as well. So what is a superfood? This is a food that is high in nutrients that are really going to help our health. So you can think of it as being really beneficial in nutrients for the amount of calories that you're actually ingesting with that food. But before I go on and talk about all the great reasons why you want these superfoods in your diet, I want to throw in a few cautions too, because sometimes we get all excited about something and we forget our balance about it. So one thing to keep in mind with superfoods is sometimes people will get really excited about something they read about one and they'll start having a lot of it. And remember, we get different nutrients from different foods, so we should never really, really be concentrating on one food and not balancing it out with other things. As well, superfood is really a term that gets used for marketing, and so we need to be a little careful about the claims that are being made about it, because there isn't really any regulation around using that word at all. And it can be, for example, some exotic fruit from the other side of the world, and we have no idea how it was processed and what kind of regulations there were around pesticides or heavy metal contamination. So sometimes superfoods that are more local or that we have a better idea what's in them can be better for us. The other thing is, is sometimes in that marketing, they will put superfood on something that isn't really necessarily that healthy. So a superfood juice that's full of sugar isn't actually that good for us. So keep those in mind as you look at incorporating these great superfoods in your diet so you can get all those nutrients. So the first reason we should be incorporating that is probably the thing we think of most commonly with superfoods, and that's they are high in antioxidants. So the reason we need that is in making energy in our body and from things from the outside like pollution, we get something called free radicals being made, and they can cause a lot of damage in our body. But one of the ways that we get rid of them is with antioxidants. So these foods that are really high in antioxidants are really going to help take care of that. Number two isn't thought of as common with superfoods, but that's healthy fats. So often people are scared of fats, and although there are some fats, like trans fats, that are really unhealthy for us, we actually need a lot of fats in our diet. They do so, so many good things. So a great example of this is salmon. It's high in a fatty acid called omega-3 that we need because it's so anti-inflammatory and super, super healthy for us. And that's probably the best source out there. Number three is protein. Another thing to think of in that superfood category are things that are protein dense. We need wonderful foods for that protein. It does lots of things in our body. And this time of year with all the flus and colds going around, it's important to remember that protein is critical for our immune system to function properly. <clears throat> and something that some people consider a superfood are beans and legumes. So including lentils and soups and things like that can really, really help because this is a plant-based, economical, really good source of protein for us. For number four, the typical North American diet is actually pretty low in fiber, which is actually critical for managing our blood sugar, for our cholesterol levels, and for getting our digestive system to run smoothly. So I really encourage you to find great superfood sources of adding that fiber to our diet. And a great example of this are chia seeds. Not only are we gonna get that fiber, but we're also gonna get those beneficial fatty acids as well. For number five, I have a bit of a catch-all because different superfoods are going to be high in different vitamins and minerals. Things we really need to be getting more of in our diet that we often lose in processing of food. But there's another thing that falls in this category and that's something called phytonutrients. And so these are a whole bunch of different compounds we find in plants, those fruits and vegetables we need to incorporate more of in our diet. And there are thousands of them. We're just starting to learn more and more about them. So for now, the best bet is to get as many different colored fruits and vegetables as we can, and that's going to give us lots of different phytonutrients to help with our health. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. I would love it if you gave me some comments or questions below, and please hit subscribe so you can get more wellness videos from our team. This is Lee, stay happy and healthy. I'm one of the five, uh, try again. <laughs> They can be considered a super, uh, let me start that one. <laughs> Meeting number three, that fats are number two, ah. Uh. <laughs>